All right, so the details for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Angel Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza have officially been revealed by the, uh, you know, official Dokkan Twitter page. And, oh, you know what? Let me quickly turn off my webcam so you guys can get a good look at that glorious card art. All right, there we go. So on top of that, we're also getting Dokkan Awakenings for the Tech Angel Frieza as well as the AGL Angel Cell, who both, of course, needed Dokkan Awakenings for sure. And uh, we'll take a look at all the details in English in a second, translations courtesy of the homie Goresh. But before we do that, we gotta watch the animations for all three characters together. And uh, let me just quickly turn off my music. And we'll start, of course, with the Dokkan Fest Frieza first. So let me just put on my headphones. I have not seen these animations yet, so we're going to experience this for the first time together. Okay, here we go. この金色の体が苔脅しではないことを教えてさし上げましょうよ Yo, this Frieza's animations are fire, man. Holy crap. They're better than the LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta's animations. And I'm not saying his animations are bad, all right? I, I like that guy's animations, but these are above that, man. Especially the transformation. Especially the active skill with the transformation, the sound effects, that little eyebrow that comes up. Yo, yo. This Frieza is dope. I don't even know what he does yet, but details aside, details aside, I mean, the animations alone are enough to get me to summon. Okay, like that, that's crazy. I love that. Okay, so those are the animations for the Frieza. And now let's take a quick look at the Token Awakenings um, for the Frieza and Cell. I'm guessing not as good, but probably still quite solid. We'll see. I mean, they're fine. They're fine. Nothing special, though. I mean, coming off of the Dokkan Fest Freezes animations, I guess it's not really fair to compare. Um, but these are, I mean, this is pretty much what I expected from uh, these Awakenings. So there you go. I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad. It's just Frieza, like, blows them out of the water. But that's to be expected. Okay, so, um, yeah, Frieza's animations, absolute fire. These guys' animations, eh, okay. And now let's pop over to the Dokkan uh, Reddit, where Goresh has so kindly provided us with translations for all three characters. Shout out to the homie Goresh, you guys know who he is. Uh, we appreciate him as always for all the hard work he puts in. And uh, let's start with the final form Frieza Angel first. Leader skill, Resurrected Warriors or Otherworld Warriors. Keep plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 150%. So interesting thing here is that he does not have a new category. Okay, it's Resurrected Warriors or Otherworld Warriors, both of which are existing categories, but E plus four. Okay, E plus four, which is uh, not standard. I mean, there have been key plus four leader skills for Dokkan Fest units, but it's not that common. And the fact that he gives Resurrected Warriors 2 key plus 4 is, is pretty big, because that's actually a pretty good category, right? So, yeah, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. I'm wondering if 
instead of releasing new categories for you know future Dokkan Fist units, at least for a little while, they'll just give us you know more key. Like, is key plus four gonna be the standard for upcoming you know Dokkan Fist units in the future? We'll have to see. But yeah, key plus four, one fifty percent across the board. Super attack, death, psychonos, psychon, psych. Why can't I say this, man? Psychokinesis. Death Psychokinesis. Raises defense, causes immense damage, and seals super attack. So, of course, infinitely raising defense. He's going to be amazing for longer events. But even for, like, shorter to medium length events, he can still uh, build up some defense. So, that's awesome. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%. Gain an additional attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns after receiving an attack. And during that turn, gain a medium chance to evade enemy attacks. Attack enemies, attack and defense, minus 30% for 2 turns. So based on my understanding of this, um, of course he's always going to have that 100% attack and defense. And then, after he takes an attack, he gains attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns. And then, on the turn he, he takes an attack, he also has a medium chance to evade enemy attack. So I guess he has to get hit first, and then he gets the medium chance to evade. And then attack enemies, attack and defense, minus 30% for 2 turns, which is huge for Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, um, you know, any event really where the enemy hits really hard. And then for the transformation, the condition is that you basically can use it anytime. It says able to be used when entering attacking turn. So essentially, you can pop that active skill anytime you feel, no conditions, no restrictions, which is amazing. And uh, there's the voice line. Links are Shocking Speed, Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Nightmare, uh, Strongest Kind in Space, Fierce Battle, and Tournament of Power. Tournament of Power. Categories are Resurrected Warriors, Other World Warriors, Universe Survival Saga, Representatives of Universe 7, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, and Full Power. And for Golden Frieza, Super Attack massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. Massively. That is a huge boost. I think that's 80%, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it's around 80%. Passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Gain an additional attack and defense plus 80% when launching super attack and great chance to stun the attacked enemy. Reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. So essentially, it looks like if you want to infinitely stack defense, then you'll keep him as a Frieza, like Final Form Frieza, for as long as possible. But if you want to just like straight up, you know, destroy people uh, from the jump, then you would just pop the active skill, become Golden Frieza. And this is awesome actually, because not only is he going to be good for longer events, but he's also going to be amazing for shorter events because you can pop the active skill anytime you want. So um, they essentially got around the whole, you know, certain units are better, or at least like for this guy specifically, you know, you know, some units are better for longer events, some units are better for shorter events, and you bring different units for different situations. You can bring this guy on any event, because he can, you know, be Golden Frieza from turn 1, right? So, um, yeah, if, if you want to take on a shorter event, you can bring him. He's going to be, you know, doing crazy damage and stunning people, massively raising attack, all that good stuff. And then for longer events, you can just keep him untransformed and, you know, infinitely stack defense and become a defensive juggernaut while still doing good damage and uh, also debuffing enemy and um, also having a medium chance to evade after taking an attack. So, uh, man, this is a really good card. <laughs> this is a really good unit. Um, I, I, some people have told me, like, I was streaming when the details first came out and people were like, yo, he might be better than Gohan, right? Tech Gohan. And I was like... I'll see, I'll see. Um, but yeah, with the versatility of this unit, I, I mean, maybe, I, I maybe, because he's just good on any event, whereas Gohan, I mean, he's, Gohan is still good on, on short events, but like, he's much better on longer events, right? Frieza circumvents that whole issue that a lot of units have, and he's just amazing on all events, which is kind of wild. Okay, um, so that's the Frieza for you. I think he's top, top, top tier. Uh, immediately one of the best TURs in the game. Maybe the best, we'll have to see. But that's Frieza for you. Um, for the Cell here, Leader Skill, AGL Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, Super Attack raises Attack and Defense and causes Supreme Damage, so infinitely stacking both. That's really nice. 
Passive is attack, attack plus 20%, defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained. All allies key plus 2 when collecting 2 or more rainbow key spheres. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he gives key plus 2 to allies when you collect 2 or more rainbow key spheres. Attacks effective against all types if your entire team consists of characters belonging to the Otherworld Warriors category. Okay, so running a full Otherworld Warriors team, you get attacks effective against all. He's also supporting key for allies and getting a ton of attack and defense per key sphere. Also, um, stacking attack and defense. Damn. Oh, he's great. Okay. Links, big bad bosses, ultimate life form, fear and faith, shocking speed, nightmare, otherworld warriors, and fierce battle. Categories are androids, transformation boost, time travelers, uh, artificial life forms, kamehameha, and otherworld warriors. For Frieza, uh, the, you know, tech angel Frieza, Leader skill, tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack, raises attack and defense, and causes supreme damage, just like Cell. Passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 100% when launching a super attack, and changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres, reduces damage received by 40% if your entire team consists of characters belonging to the other world warriors category. So obviously, if you're bringing these two guys, you want to be running a full other world warriors category. Uh, team that is. Links are prodigies, strongest client in space, universe is most malevolent, shocking speed, nightmare, um, other world warriors, and fierce battle, and categories are transformation boost, wicked bloodline, and other world warriors. Okay, so I mean the other two guys are impressive, the awakenings are good for sure. The Frieza is amazing. Alright, this, this angel Frieza is absolutely top tier. Um, I'm excited to, you know, get the data download and you know, take him for a test run because I think he's going to perform very well. Uh, his damage is probably going to be very good. His defense can also get very, very high depending on if you, you know, leave him as Final Form Frieza or just pop that active skill early. Uh, but even if you pop that active skill, he can still tank really well if you're below 49%, which is obviously when you need the tanking the most. And uh, yeah, man, I have nothing bad to say about this Golden Frieza. I have, I have nothing bad to say about this Golden Frieza. He is a phenomenal unit. I'm super excited for him. Obviously, for Global, he's not going to be dropping for a little while, but uh, I'm still excited to you know test him out when he drops on Global, or sorry, JP. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this Frieza. Do you guys think he is amazing? Do you guys think he's the best TUR in the game? Or are you, you know somewhere in between? Like, not as hyped, but... Um, still impressed or are you disappointed? I don't see anybody being disappointed, but maybe maybe they're out there Anyways, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching um, Hope you guys are hyped for whatever's to come for both global and JP and as always if you liked today's video Then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.